I make you pancakes. I take you hunting. I talk to you as if you're really there. Are you there, sweetheart? Do you know me? Is this microphone live? Let me do it right for once. For the record, let me make a thing of cream and stars that becomes, you know the story, simply heaven. Inside your head, you hear a phone ringing, and when you open your eyes, only a clearing with deer in it. Hello, dear. Inside your head, the sound of glass, a car crash sound as the trucks roll over and explode in slow motion. Hello, darling. Sorry about that. Sorry about the bony elbows. Sorry you lived here. Sorry about the scene at the bottom of the stairwell and how I ruined everything by saying it out loud. Especially that, but I should have known. You see, I take the parts that I remember and I stitch them back together to make a creature that will do what I say or love me back. I'm not really sure why I do it, but in this version you are not feeding yourself to a bad man against the black sky, prickled with small lights. I take it back. The wooden halls like caskets, these terms from the lower depths, I take them back. Here is the repeated image of a lover destroyed, crossed out. Clumsy hands in a dark room, crossed out. There is something underneath the floorboards, crossed out. And here is the tabernacle, reconstructed. <laughs> Here's the part where everyone was happy all the time and we were all forgiven, even though we didn't deserve it. Inside your head you hear a phone ringing, and when you open your eyes you're washing up in a stranger's bathroom, standing by the window in a yellow towel, only twenty minutes away from the dirtiest thing you know. All the rooms of the castle except this one, says someone, and suddenly darkness, suddenly only darkness. In the living room, in the broken yard, in the back of the car as the lights go by, in the airport bathrooms, girl in flesh, bathed in a pharmacy of unnatural light, my hands looking weird, my face weird, my feet too far away, and then the airplane, the window seat over the wing with a view of the wing and a little foil bag of peanuts. I arrived in the city and you met me at the station, smiling in a way that made me frightened. Down the alley, around the arcade, up the stairs of the building, to the little room with the broken faucets, your drawings, all your things, I looked out the window and said, this doesn't look that much different from home, because it didn't. But then I noticed the black sky and all those lights. We walked through the house to the elevated train. All these buildings, all that glass, and that shiny, beautiful, mechanical wind. We were inside the train car when I started to cry. You were crying too, smiling and crying in a way that made me even more hysterical. You said I could have anything I wanted, but I just couldn't say it out loud. Actually, you said, love for you is larger than the usual romantic love. It's like a religion. It's terrifying. No one will ever want to sleep with you.